Hello everyone, my name is the Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing a custom campaign featuring the Persians created by Hinout183. Um, that's the name that shows in the mod browser at least. Seems like this was a well received scenario overall and I do enjoy playing as the Persians. So hopefully this will be a good set of missions. I think it should be fully voiced as well. So that means the quality of this will probably be pretty good. Um, it's normally pretty difficult to get voice actors at all for missions like this. So let's go ahead and get started. The day has finally come. I've waited for this moment as long as I can remember, and now it is here. I am nervous, but at the same time eager to begin this exciting new chapter of my life. My name is Apranik. Daughter of General Piran and the youngest member of a proud lineage of warriors. Ever since I was a little girl, I have dreamt of becoming a military commander. Our enemies in Arabia and Constantinople scoff at the sight of ironclad maidens at the head of a professional army, but here in Persia, women have always been leaders alongside the men. We are artisans, business owners, and yes, even generals. Underneath our outward elegance, many Persian women have the heart of a warrior, and we bring that fire to the battlefield every time. We are still a minority to be sure, but in a civilization like ours, opportunity is rewarded to the sharpest minds. Persia is built on the virtues of Zoroastrianism, which sets it apart like no other major power in history. We are bound together through the great Ahura Mazda, who fills us with wisdom, duty, and a natural desire to help our brothers and sisters. In our society, every single one of us contributes something important, and those with ambition emerge great leaders. I listen to the tales of Persia's heroes of the past every week, and each one inspires something new inside of me. Everyone here is familiar with the political achievements of Cyrus the Great, the triumphant campaigns of Darius, and the unflinching grit of Khosro. But behind each of these men are great women. Among this nation's most important figures are Panthea, Atusa, Artunis, and several others. Knowing that each and every one of us is afforded greatness, I've always dreamt of etching my own name into the scripts alongside these titans. My journey takes its first great step today. I know not exactly what the future holds for me, but I am ready to take charge. Welcome, young Abranic. Your horse awaits you at the stable. I can't believe this is finally happening! Awesome. So our main objectives here uh, are that Apranik must survive, and we need to bring her to the horse at the stable. Our hints tell us that Apranik is limited to a population of 150. On moderate and hard difficulty, Apernik cannot advance to the Imperial Age until becoming a level 12 officer. Apernik does not have access to siege weapons until reaching level 8, so there's a leveling system in this uh, level. That's pretty cool. War elephants are powerful against the Armenian and Eastern Roman armies, so long as you can protect them from conversions. Elephants are difficult to tame, however, so only a truly skilled commander can get access to them. Despite being a cavalry hero unit, Apernik does not take bonus damage from cavalry riders or mamelukes. Use this to your advantage. Although Apernik is initially a novice fighter, her father Piran is more experienced and can help fight her battles alongside her. Unlike Apernik, Piran does not need to survive this mission. Well, that's her, that's her father, right? Persian town centers have extra hit points and produce villagers more quickly. Yep, that's just the quirk of the sieve. Use this bonus to solidify your economy before your enemies can overrun you. This is the mid-7th century, so don't expect any powder to be lit in battle. Instead, however, Apernik may eventually be able to train elephant archers at the archery range. Unlike their Indian counterparts, Persian elephant archers have plus 2 extra range. 
Your scouts report that Apernik in yellow has just reached the legal age for her to start her military training. While the Persian Shah, Yadzdegur III in grey, battles the Rashidun Caliphate in the southern regions of the empire, Apernik has been summoned to deal with Persia's enemies in the northwestern region of Azerbaijan. Initially, she is a poor fighter. However, as she grows more experience as a commander, her stats will gradually improve, making her quite useful in combat and improving her ranking. The Arabs in green have several raiding camps scattered around the region. While their troops here are weak, they can make it dangerous to push out for additional resources. Apernik must defeat as many of their garrisons as possible to rise up the ranks, allowing her access to a wider variety of units. Apernik's primary rival is the Eastern Roman Empire in purple, commanded by Empress Fausta. Her outpost has a robust economy, allowing her to train large armies that can seriously threaten Apernik's inexperienced forces. She will deploy longswordsmen, elite skirmishers, light cavalry, and cataphracts. The western part of the map is home to the Armenians, who the Persian Empire has recently lost to the Rashidun Caliphate. The Caliph has promised autonomy and religious freedom for supporting their conquests and paying them tribute. Hungry to exact vengeance against the Persians for treating them as a buffer state, they will send knights, heavy swordsmen, which are just strong melee infantry, and monks to crush Apernik. Although their base is not well defended, they are an aggressive opponent that will become extremely dangerous if not dealt with early on. Alright, let's go ahead and get this started, shall we? I can't believe this is finally happening! Alright, Apernik, go ahead and get on your horse. We ride with you, Apernik. Come I've done kitchen. this first section a couple times. The pacing of this mission is actually quite tight. And an important thing to realize is Apernik herself doesn't actually need to participate in the combat in order to improve and increase rank. You just need to just defeat the units in the squads that show up, as we will soon see. Well done, Aprenik. Now, we should look through the city for new recruits. So it's a little counterintuitive, because it feels like you need Aprenik to join you in combat, and she she can later on um, when she gets her stat bonuses. But in fact, at the start, it's better to have her stay near. Reach level four. And we will join you. To stay near the orange base to get units. I would love to finally teach those obnoxious Romans a lesson. But I'm still new to fighting. Attacking some of the scattered Arab garrisons will be great practice. I have heard great things about your father. But since you are new to fighting, we demand you rise to a level 6 officer before we join your battalion. It's you! You're the one who spared our lives from those terrifying Arabs. We are in your debt. Good work, Apravi. You've been promoted to the next level. Okay, that's level one. Our priority now should be to... ...boom up with many TCs. Sahih, the Eastern Romans have built an outpost on our Western Front. I must concentrate my efforts on the main Rashidun forces. But you could destroy the Roman castle. It would help me immensely. Okay, we have an objective which is to destroy the Saracen garrisons and to defeat the Armenians, and to somehow defeat them before 15 minutes elapse. You can defeat them as well. Don't ask me how I'm supposed to achieve any of that. I think you may have potential, young lady. Well done, Pranik. I promote you to the next level. Memo. Omode. 
Let's keep this boom up. Make sure that we are building housing. Let's keep booming. Let's keep moving these units around. Send these sheep back here so that our villagers can continue gathering without needing to build farms. And we'll pass through this valley of death here. The key here is to not allow our military to fall idle. Let's build additional housing, get these villagers harvesting the sheep. It's important to keep in mind that these raiders are actually quite weak overall. We are level four. Let's go pick these. And it's finally time we Armenians exact revenge against your tyrannical ways. May Ahura Mazda bless you henceforth. What makes you think you're any better off as a vassal to the Arabs? Ottoman Ethan has promised to protect us from your incursions for a small honorable treaty. After so many years of debt and farming, it is a ministry cost to finally attain peace. You just wait. You have yet to see the full extent of my power. Okay, we didn't lose a paladin, that's what matters. You're becoming more like me, only better. Keep villager production coming out. We just completed another level up there. Memo, Memo, Memo. 
Let's get more villagers out. Take care of these guys by converting. Well, fuck, my girl. Your ranking has increased by one. Very good. Let's get a blacksmith out. Let's also get a university online. I'm going to send these forces upwards now. Focus on upgrading crossbowmen. Let's do bodkin and then arrow armor. Yep, squires, then do more of these fellas. It's okay to lose some units, I guess. We need more housing. Another one bites the dust. Off I go. All right, let's make our way across in this direction. Those guys only have Fetal Age upgrades, so they're very weak. That's something that we need to keep in our minds here as we continue forward. Gotta take out that mega now. Indecisive saw finally has his hands tied behind me. Prepare to face the might of Rome. I wish I had recruited you sooner, Pranik. Okay, so far we're doing good still. Let's continue churning out crossbows. And more. Of these militia. Let's get handcart here. I'd also like to get uh, thumb ring for our archers. We're still housed. Let's fix that situation. Good. You're becoming a leader faster than I could have ever imagined. Didn't pick thumb ring yet. We lack the food. Okay, let's cross these shallows and go down here first. Okay. 
Have those villagers build a dock. Pick up thumb ring. Keep moving these crossbows around. Oh, there's lots of resources up here. Yeah, we've reached level 10. So let's uh, let's bring Apernik back here. See if we can recruit some additional soldiers. Armenia will rise again. We haven't been under too much pressure yet. You are a man. The Persian army is yours. I can now build stables. That's good. Let's go ahead and build a few of those. Your name has been ringing through Persia quite a lot lately. Very well. I will help you fight the Romans. I can now build castles. Oh, that is big. If I can build castles, I'm going to go ahead and build one atop this hill right here. We'll also bother getting murder holes now. That is a huge boon. 12 garrisons defeated. That's the last one up there. Things are looking great all of a sudden. And we're almost at our pop cap here, so... I'm hoping what we have here will be enough. I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to bait these Mamluks in. They're not biting. Take the scorpions out, let the Mamluks give chase, take them out with our crossbowmen, and then wrap back in with our cavalry and do the damage. Truly you are the strongest warrior I've seen in ages. I can now advance to the Imperial Age. Let's, let's do that right away. And we can create Savars. Persian unique cavalry with, and it regenerates HP. Strong with hit and run tactics, weak against camel riders. That's totally okay. Uh... Alrighty, well, that is a force of blue units. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose these crossbowmen to them. That's, I'm actually okay with that though. Oh, these villagers joined in at the wrong time. That's definitely the wrong place at the wrong time for them. Okay, 
just lost 20 some crossbows. Rip. Okay, so I'm not sure. Oh, well, I guess that's my answer. Let's bring these villagers back down here. Have them chop wood in the south. Now that we've reached the Imperial Age and our opponents haven't, we are in really good shape to actually go through and kill them off. Uh, I'd like to use save ours, I guess. Lead save our 1200 food. We have a lot of things that we need to spend food on here. I'm gonna put our queen inside the castle, or rather the commanding officer. Make sure to take out that squad of blues. The monk's trying to convert our houses. I'm okay with that. Again, I don't mind. Uh, but we're actually about to get flanked on this side now. Okay, I want to take the fight to them, so I need some way of getting to the enemy. And in order to get to the enemy, I have to know where they are. And so we go. They are probably to the west, so I'm going to start making my way in that direction. Salam. Salam. Block printing, faith would be nice to have. But what we really need is food. We're not gonna have bombard cannons or anything of the sort. We should keep that in mind as well. I guess war elephants and these Avar units would be very good to have. 
Oh, there's a lot of gold here. Is that Ornlu the Wolf? Hey, it's Ornlu the Wolf. What's up, buddy? Oh, he just, he doesn't stand a chance. It's weird how the arrows can't actually hit that wolf. It's as if our archers forget that they're archers. From the Arabs? Foolish Persians! The only mess that we serve is our Lord and Savior. Okay. This wave should be no issue. What's important is that we are able to start busting down our enemies here. Let's also take this time to pick up Parthian tactics. We're out of stone. Let's mine this gold up here instead. And start taking out blue. I guess they are kind of vulnerable to an early assault if they don't start with a real base. And have to make do with a pretend one. Uh, the Armenians just clicked up to the Imperial Age by the looks of things. This hockey doesn't feel like it's working. Not enough gold. A, right? Oh, it's because... Yeah, it's because A is the upgrade to Hussar. Let's get some villagers back online and let's have our army continue laying waste of blue here. to get rid of the blue monasteries. Those are the most annoying enemies. Oh 
And the reason why is because they convert away our precious elephant. I, I hate the AI conversion sound so much, man. You underestimate the Khalifa. Stop this madness before more blood is spilt. That is a lot of relics from Blue. I'm glad that we've ejected them. And we've actually gotten close to hitting our pop cap now as well, which is good. Salam. You have done well defeating the Armenians, Khanis. But this rise five left. Holy crud, we're we're level 17 now? That's new. I didn't even know we could get this high. Uh, we can also take a detour over in that direction. The Caliph will surely crush you once he learns about this. It's cool that wood is at a good sell price. I guess I should have waited for guilds to finish. You've made this family proud, Abrani. Alright, so it seems like purple is uninterested in the monks, which is really good for us. Hope I select the right combination of relics there. I think we can now shift away from Commanderon archers and more towards elephant archers and war elephants here. Oh no you don't. No you don't. I see the monks. I see what you're going for. You don't get relics. Those are our relics. Those relics belong to us. They do not belong to you. But what this means is that purple does actually train monks, so we need to be aware of that. Wow, that guy really ran in and sniped a priest. What we also need to discover here is the best means of attack into the purple base here. Uh, they have a moat of some kind, it seems. Let's do fervor. And for some reason, I'm not allowed to do faith. 
آماده آری آری میکنم آماده میکنم Okay, so there's shallows back here. It looks like the back entrance to the Roman base. We need to knock down their castle, and that's good. That means that they only have one castle. Try to attack us all you want. Your novices won't get far. I'm not so sure if you'd if I'd remain trash talking as much as you are if I were you. Let's get this stone pile tucked away in the corner there. Sorry about that, sir. Won't happen again, I promise. This is far from a free win, by the way. Even though we're doing good damage here. The opponents did manage to take out our trebs, and they have champions now. And the pathfinding of our cavalry seems to be real bad. These are Byzantine towers too. Oh, this is so obnoxious. I just played the last Romans, man. And now I have to assault a Byzantine base. That's really tough. Let's stage a castle forward here. I want this to be our true staging ground. Now that this attack, this daring raid has Achieved what it needs to achieve. This is a great level for elephants, and I must say that the level design has been quite good overall. It respects, it uh, rewards quick pacing. There's relics to capture. I'm sure there's actually a way to defeat blue really quick. Uh, I just didn't know where they were beforehand. There's a protect the unit aspect of it. Um, the Persians, heavy cavalry, there's unique units being used everywhere. Trebuchets with full chemistry. Lots of stuff to like here. Salam. I'm gonna build some forward stables here. Siege rams are still no joke. 
And I will mix in a few Hussars here as well, just to save on the gold costs. Oh, these trebs are going down for free. How'd these rams just sneak in here, man? Oh, that's so bad. I don't want this castle to go down. I think I'm gonna change my game settings for default aggressive stance again. I don't like the default defensive stance. I'm more used to the aggressive stance where they actually run around and do things. Okay, so what these villagers are doing is they're gonna sneak, sneak build uh, forward here, and just go directly for the castle. Alright, we primarily want to target down siege workshops. We'll get this gold over here. And we're almost done with that stone as well. Let's not stray too far into the enemy base here, but... Our forces are quite population efficient, which is great. This has been a real fun mission. Super well designed. The enemies aren't pushovers, which is good. And this is what I love about elite war elephants. Once you reach a certain mass, it just becomes an inevitability. And this is one of those cases where I think a pop cap of 150 is actually pretty appropriate. It lets you utilize the population efficiency aspect of the War Elephants, which is pretty cool. And the opponents running monks to actually counter the elephants is a great touch as well. It really rewards you for using your commander on crossbowmen in the early game, as well as the Flemish Militia. And then only transitioning to full elephants later on once you have more control of the situation.
ساری معمار سلام معمار بوده چوماله چی And the castle should go down now to our alternate angle attack. Spies only cost 1600 gold too. Don't you stand there so just do something. Yeah, run away. I did it. The Romans are defeated. Soon everyone will know my name. Bad time to get converted, my friend. You're on the losing side of history. My husband has plenty of reserves. While you were wasting all your supplies against my small fortress, the Arabs all but wrecked the rest of your senile empire. I would run if I were you. This is a really good level. Um. I dare say it's it's close to, to production quality almost, depending on if the history is accurate. I had a blast playing it. Um, overall, overall, quite well designed. If you play too slowly, you get punished. Uh, off screen, I got absolutely devastated by blue and purple by, by assuming that I had time to sit on my hands. They both got to Imperial Age while I was still stuck in Castle Age and just completely leveled my base. Uh, Whereas, actually, destroying the Arab Raiders um, really actually accelerates your gameplay into a true Persian role. This is a really encouraging introductory level. I had a great time. Um, a couple of criticisms. I think it's not immediately clear on the first playthrough that you don't actually need to use um, the hero unit the the daughter in combat to actually get her to improve um, so that's a little bit uh, not clear um, I thought she had to be at the front um, when in reality you can kind of just let her sit back and have her immediately pick up reinforcements in the orange base if you can spare her um, which you can if you are quick about producing a block of commander on crossbowmen so that's that's a little bit just very slightly clunky but it's a it's a very minor nitpick um there's a lot of things to like about the mission the start start off point there's like it's very cinematic the voice acting is super super strong um and this mission leverages a lot of the persians strengths here it leverages the extra town center um production speed it leverages the extra town center hp um, it leverages War Elephants, which is really cool. It leverages Commanderon Crossbowmen, which is also really cool. Um, and yeah, there is just a lot of positive stuff to say about this. And I, I'm looking forward to playing the remainder of these missions here. The rivalry between Persia and Rome dates back several centuries. The Romans we face now are cousins of the Macedonians ravaged our empire under Alexander the Great. Although our leaders have successfully held them back where no one else could, their disciplined armies have forced us to change our tactics constantly. Ever since the reign of Justinian, the Eastern Roman Empire has been more formidable than ever. Despite my first great victory, I do not feel the thrill of achievement I was expecting all these years. My army's resources were all but exhausted fighting the Romans and Armenians, and our enemies are far from vanquished. Empress Fausta has retreated back to Constantinople, and it is only a matter of time before she and her avaricious husband strike back. Further to the south, the situation is even grimmer. More and more, I keep hearing stories of Arab raiders devastating Persia's outskirts. These invaders from the desert are not like any other adversary we have faced. Their scimitar-wielding camel risers and swift horse archers lack the strict organization of the Romans. Yet they are reckless to no end, even when faced with certain death. Their cause is not merely survival, but rather to force their personal beliefs to as many strangers as possible. It is as if they don't care about the consequences of their actions so long as they have an excuse to fight. I asked the priests how we could negotiate with these terrifying strangers, but none of them have any answers. 
Persia is more than familiar with barbaric invaders. But even the dreaded Heftalites now look gallant compared to these desert rats. Yazdegerd has fought hard to hold off the Arabs and their Libyan subordinates, but to little avail. Caught in the bubble of the past stories of my father, I realize now that I have been oblivious to the turmoil Persia now faces. Our most sacred cities are quickly slipping out of our hands while any attempts at an alliance with our neighbors has fallen on deaf ears. It is only a matter of time before the Arabs overtake us completely. I cannot allow these rats to rob me of my moment. Alright, pretty efficient kill-death ratio here. Lots of building sprays as well. Uh, but man, look at that relic gold. 4,336 relic gold for the Armenians. I guess if you're able to kill them early, the level becomes much easier. We'll have to see though. Anyway, that was the first episode of Apernik, Up the Ranks. Super, super hype for this so far. It's an excellent introductory level. Um, you guys really outdid yourselves. Next time we'll play a distraught path. But until then, my name's been The Clever Fool. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.